Upon delivery, the device includes four rods. The shortest rod, in this case the 25 mm rod, corresponds to the maximum position registered with the George gauge. Using this rod, we will validate that the position represents 100% of the patient's mandibular advancement. We take the 25 mm rod and insert it in the lower part of the device, the one with triangles. On each side, the numbers must be placed inward to avoid friction at the cheek level. If the numbers were placed outward, it would not cause much of discomfort, but it is better to place them inward, like this. I will start by inserting the upper part. It can be moistened with water to facilitate insertion. The upper part will be inserted first. We check the positioning by placing this part of the canine tooth level. These holes face the canine teeth. We try to press on the shell on the parts on the posterior teeth. If we feel there is a light resistance and the component fits well, it is in good condition. We repeat the step on the other side of the mouth. We observe a slight resistance, but it stays in its place and is well secure. To the patient, do you feel any pain? Is there a side tighter than the other? Does this feel okay? Yes, very good. For the lower part, we must let the upper part in place. The lower part is inserted. We position the device next to the lower canine teeth, since they are not covered by the appliance. We simply press on each side while pulling the cheek a little to prevent the mucous membrane from being pinched under the device, in this manner. You know it is well positioned when you hear a clicking sound, when the appliance is well set, or when you are not able to push it further. We ask the person to close her teeth together and to bite hard to properly put the device into place. We must check the occlusion, i.e. whether the left and the right sides make contact at the same time. To the patient, do you feel intense pressures on your lower jaw? Is it comfortable? Yes. Afterwards, we ask the patient to move her lower jaw forward and backwards. The person moves it forward, backwards, then forward, and the person stops moving. We position the left and the right rods. If both cylinders face the insert holes, then we consider that the 25 mm rods match the advancement captured with the George gauge. If these rods go beyond the insert holes, it means that the George gauge did not register an advancement position of 100%. Consequently, the 25 mm rods do not correspond to the 100% position, which might be of 23 or 24 mm, as the case may be. The patient opens her mouth. I will remove the lower part to check if it is very tight. There is quite a good resistance when removed. For the upper part, I place my fingers just above the canine teeth and I remove it in a similar manner. In the patient's mouth, we established that the 25 mm rods represented an advancement of 100%, i.e. the bite registered with the George gauge. We will go down by three rods, so here is the 28 mm rod. These rods may correspond to an advancement of 100%, 90%, 80%, and 70%. So there are three rods longer than the 100% advancement one. We take the 28 mm rod and insert it in one of the lower triangle while making sure the number is placed inward. 
s'assurant de placer le chiffre à l'intérieur. Nous allons placer We now place the upper part. supérieur, comme ceci. Nous allons We insert the end of the other rod in the upper triangle. Au niveau du haut. And we insert the lower end like this. La partie inférieure. While keeping the other rods in place. Les autres tiges attachées. Et voilà. The device will now be inserted in the patient's mouth. And we will show her how to insert it by herself. To the patient, you will place the whole device in your mouth. You must place your thumbs under the upper part and clip it to the upper teeth. Once you feel it is secure, you will hold your cheeks with your two index fingers and slowly move your chin forward. You then bite in the device, like this. Keep your lips parted and bite. Here it goes. Are you comfortable? Yes. The device is properly inserted. Open your mouth, close it. Only part your lips. Keep your teeth closed together while parting your lips. Please turn towards me. We must make sure that the occlusion is even on each side. We may check with a carbon paper and even up each side if needed. To the patient, do you feel that the right and the left sides make contact at the same time? Yes. Here we can see the advancement. Teeth are almost end-to-end -end or lower teeth might protrude slightly since the advancement is of 70%. If the patient moves forward of three further millimeters, she will be in her maximum advancement position. To the patient, now in order to remove the device, you will place the nails of your thumbs under each lower shell in parallel to your teeth. You will slowly lift up the appliance on the left side and on the right side while opening your mouth. Here it goes, it is detached. Put your index fingers on the shells in order to remove the device. You may take it out.